Hi guys, and welcome to the final boss of Encourage 40 Man. That is Sithun. And uh, this is quite an entertaining fight. I'm looking forward to sharing this uh, with you guys. But uh, you're going to want to settle in uh, when you are ready to solo this because it's going to take you about two hours. And you can see I'm standing here at the boss. Uh, you know what? You actually can't just solo Sithun. Soloing this fight actually requires a little bit more trickery. So I'm going to run back down to the chamber of Uru the Sandworm. And I'm going to see you guys there. And uh, I'm going to start talking about soloing Sithun down there. in Uru's chamber. I'm going to walk right up to Uru and I'm going to aggro him to start the fight with Sithun. So you can see he's just a gigantic uh, gigantic worm that comes up out of the ground and uh, has some other abilities uh, where he'll do damage to you while he's under the ground and whatnot. The damage from Uru is really pretty inconsequential, so uh, what I want to do is I'm going to drag Uru all the way to Sithun's room. And while I'm doing that I'm going to explain to you the reason why I'm doing this. If you want to kill Sithun, the way that you do it is by killing tentacles inside of Sithun's stomach. And the problem is, if you try to solo Sithun, when, you, when he teleports you into his stomach, okay, he waits about five seconds to decide whether or not anybody is still outside of his stomach. And if there is nobody outside of his stomach, he instantly wipes the raid. And that means he instantly wipes you. So basically, there always has to be somebody outside of Sithun's stomach. But um, the thing is that Sithun has a 99% damage absorption shield. Uh, and the only way to bring down that shield is to uh, kill the tentacles inside of the stomach. So this seems like a bit of a catch-22, right? If you stay in the stomach for more than five seconds, you get wiped by Sithun because there's nobody outside. But if you don't get inside the stomach and kill the tentacles in there, then Sithun has a 99% damage absorption shield. So what are you supposed to do? Well, that's why we have handy-dandy Uru back here. Because World of Warcraft has some code in the game that prevents you from basically evade bugging uh, bosses. If you evade bug a boss, the boss will instantly summon you back to them. So what is actually going to happen here is that when I get to the phase of the Sithun fight, where Sithun puts me into his stomach, I'm going to keep Oru around in combat. And as soon as I get into the zone where I'm inside of Sithun's stomach, Oru is going to say, uh-uh, I can't reach Doom Switch. I'm pulling him back out. I'm not going to. I'm not going to let Doom Switch evade bug me. So Uru is literally going to yank me right back out of Sithun's stomach about one or two seconds after I get put in there, and that is how I'm going to avoid being wiped by Sithun's uh, by Sithun's wipe when nobody is outside of his stomach. Now that might seem a little cheesy to you, but that actually is the only way to solo, to truly solo this fight. So, I guess the one thing that I haven't really mentioned yet is that if I don't kill the tentacles in the stomach, right, how am I ever going to do enough damage to Sithun? And the answer is, I am going to do 1% damage to Sithun until he dies. And Sithun has 1 million HP. So basically what that means is I effectively am going to have to do 100 million damage to Sithun. And that is going to take me about 2 hours. So I am when we get to that point, I am going to fast forward for you. Alright, let's uh, start talking here about what's going on. Right now, I'm just running around. You just DPS the eye of Sithun. It's only a million HP. You're going to burn through that very quickly. You can ignore all of these tentacles. Uh, you can ignore the guy underneath you. When the eye turns red, deep red like it is right now, you can see this rainbow beam that is slowly moving around the room. Do not run through that rainbow beam. 
you'll actually see the eye sort of, I guess you could call it, like, charging up. Um, and then he goes into that rainbow eye ability. If you run through that, you will still take monstrous amounts of damage and it will kill you at level 85. So just don't walk through that rainbow stuff and it will eventually end. All we're doing right now is killing this eye in order to push Sithun into phase two. And I keep getting punted back because I'm not paying enough attention because I'm talking to you guys. If you get too close to the eye, it punts you backwards. So that's why I'm repeatedly getting knocked back. That and when, uh, when Uru bursts up through the ground, um, that's also another thing that's causing me to get knocked back. But Sithun's eye is almost dead here, so this is going to be phase one. Um, just keep getting up in his grill, doing some damage to him. So now I'm pushing Sithun here to phase two. And you're going to see how this works. So right now, he does not have the damage shield up. I'm sorry, he does, rather. Um, and you can see that even when I crit, I'm only hitting him for a thousand. So you can see that this is already going to take quite some time. And now I'm getting teleported into the stomach. Here it comes. There's the teleport. And instantly, Oru pulls me back out. And then he knocks me backwards. Now you can see that I'm starting to stack up here a debuff called digestive acid, which comes from being in the stomach, okay? And digestive acid starts to deal more and more damage over time. You can clear your digestive acid stacks anytime you want to, just by running in to Sithun's eye, and you will get punted backwards. And basically what happens is the game code right now still believes that I'm inside the stomach. That's why I'm getting digestive acid stacks up on me. Even though Uru's already pulled me out, the game code for Sithun doesn't realize that yet. So, what I'm going to be doing here is just continuing to DPS. And, and I want to stop talking eventually because, like I said, this will take me about two hours to complete. So I want to just uh, fast forward. Uh, for you guys at a thousand percent speed or something like that so you can watch me just do this very quickly but there's a couple more things I want to mention at any point you can clear the digestive stacks like I said by watch this just running into the center of Sithun he will punt me backwards and it's at that point that the game code for Sithun realizes oh hey Doom Switch is no longer in the stomach now I need to pull him back down in there somebody's got to be down in my stomach You'll see these giant claw tentacles pop up. You need to kill the giant claw tentacles. You'll get actually overwhelmed by those giant claw tentacles over time if you don't do anything about them. Okay, so when you see the giant claw tentacles, you'll want to kill those. So the other thing that's very important not to do is do not kill Oru. If you so watch your cleaves and watch your diseases or, and, and whatever else because if you kill Oru, okay, there's not going to be anyone anymore to pull you out of the stomach, right? Which means that if you kill Oru accidentally, all right, you are not going to be able to clear your stacks of digestive acid anymore. Um, AKA, you're, you know, Sithun is going to have to believe that you're both inside and outside of the stomach at the same time for the rest of this fight. Now, some classes will be able to self-heal through 99 stacks of digestive acid. Rogues will be able to do it by keeping Recuperate up the entire time. If you're a rogue, you can actually, you can vanish, um, and it will de-aggro or without de-aggroing Sithun. Um, and then you can just keep recuperate up. DKs, you can self-heal, you know, you can anti-magic shell, you can do all sorts of crazy stuff. Death Strike uh, through 99 stacks. But really, it honestly is pretty easy to just let Uru uh, pull you back out of the stomach. So right now, I'm going to do this one more time. I'm going to show you. I've got 20 stacks of digestive acid on me. I'm starting to take a little bit of damage from him, so I'm going to go ahead and run into the middle of Sithun get punted out. You can see it just cleared my stacks up there on my debuff bar, and I'm, any second now I'm going to get pulled back into the stomach. One more time. Here I go into the stomach. And there it comes. 
and or it was going to pull me out instantly. Alright, so you guys have seen how this works. We're going to be doing 1% damage to Sathun for the next two hours. So I will see you guys uh, on the other side. I guess I'll start recording again uh, in an hour and a half or so. I'll see you then. Alright, one other bit I wanted to chime in real quick here uh, with that I forgot to mention is be very careful if you're a DK about using an uncontrolled pet. Um, because, again, if you kill Uru, sometimes, you know, if it's uncontrolled, the pet will run over to Uru and just do damage over, over time. You want to be really careful that you don't do that. Again, if you kill Uru, you're going to have a much harder time. I'm going to come in here one more time and mention one other thing to you guys that you might find uh, interesting to try. Uh, you know, in your yeah, this, it's a little, little chancy. Uh, you can try repeatedly to run into the center of Sithun and get punted back out and get put in the stomach again. Sometimes, if the server is very laggy that day when you're trying this, it might actually take Sithun like six or seven seconds to realize, um, or I'm sorry, Uru, to pull you back out. And I've been able to do it occasionally when soloing this. I've occasionally been able to swim inside of the stomach and get close enough to a tentacle to put Outbreak on it. Uh, and of course, you know, if you can do that, even if you can kill both tentacles inside there by kind of hoping that the game is just a little bit laggy and gives you just enough time inside the stomach to get Outbreak on those tentacles, they've only got about 20,000 HP. So sometimes you can actually kill both of those tentacles, which drops the uh, shield on Sithun. And then you'll be able to do 100% damage, and you can, like, smoke him with damage until he puts it back up again uh, 30 seconds later. You might even be able to just burst through all million HP if you blow some cooldowns while that shield's down. So hopefully that made sense. Uh, once again, see you guys a little later on. Alright, welcome back guys. The boss is uh, at 3.5% HP at 36,000 health. Been doing the same thing for a while now. I've gotten through two episodes of uh, Law & Order. Been quite entertaining. <laughs> Closing in here on the uh, final seconds. Just got hamstrung by one of the big tentacles. I don't get ahead of myself. Let a couple of these uh, large tentacles live for a little too long, so they're starting to gang up on me. 3%. I might have said it before, but I think this is something you do once in WoW, and you get a nice sense of accomplishment after you've done it. But uh, you can do yourself a favor and duo this boss. Duoing it takes a bat. Three minutes instead of two hours. The boss coming down through two percent HP. In the comments below this video, I want you guys to uh, let me know if you've attempted soloing this on a class other than a DK. Hundred HP, and there we go. That's a boss kill. 